Hey YouTube, and this is SickleMania97 here with the first video of my sump, or not sump, sorry, uh, my refugium. Um, I mentioned this in the last video, and there was one thing I forgot to mention, I believe, is, um, there's a starfish growing here, um, six points, and I think that's kind of unusual, I thought starfish usually only have five, okay, lost them on the camera, there we go. So uh, I don't know what's, what's that, uh, what that, what species that is. Sorry. Um, so I'm gonna watch it. I've heard they can they can kind of become a nuisance, but uh, okay, I'm gonna focus on this. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, the silicone is kind of sloppy. Uh, just overlook that. Um, it's kind of tough to get into these smaller compartments, but. Uh, the siliconing is not really that important on um, this piece here and this piece as long as th they're sturdy and I and I cut the pieces to where it's uh, tighter so it, even if it's not fully siliconed nothing will get nothing will get through um, this compartment here is I believe seven inches high uh, and that's that's all I want I know about that uh, uh let's see here um so I made this top here this is all this all this material is a uh, quarter inch polycarbonate sheets um, I think it's a little different than plexiglass um, a little sturdier stuff like that but uh, I drilled into it um <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little congested today. Uh, this is an inch and a half hole and a half inch hole or three quarter inch hole. Got that on both sides. Um, so there's space uh, for the tubes and cords if necessary on both sides. Uh, so um, let's see. Um, I've got the um, Aqua Clear. Foam insert for, I guess uh, it's recommended for 600 to, or 60 to 110 gallon aquariums. I cut it in half and I cut off about two or three inches off the ends. Let's see here. Uh, oh, that's the actual piece. Sorry. Uh, cut off two pieces about that size and then just cut that in half. Stuck it in there. Um, just so any debris from the refugium, if anything gets kicked up, or if the chato overflows, or chata, um, it stays in this compartment. And, uh, also kind of a bubble trap and just an extra mechanical filter. There's never too much filtration in an aquarium. Uh, so, uh, it's a pretty simple design. Water comes in through here, this hole here drains down. Uh, there's a little slit about an inch an inch off the base of the aquarium. F fills up this compartment. Flows no higher than about a quarter inch over this section. Just flows through and uh, drains through here. And then I'll have I have a pump that goes in this compartment. Um, I've got it labeled here for how many gallons it's at. Um, the three gallon one, just don't mind that. That was just part of the design. Um, I wasn't sure on on this um, throughout the project. There was a lot of hiccups per se and uh, changes. So uh, this is what it ended up to be and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Um, I guess it is an estimated four gallons of water in here. So uh, even though I have a pretty fail safe sum or siphon system for this um, it gives it about a gallon and a half of space for the water for the siphon to break and not overflow uh, okay well I'm going to show you guys the rest of the equipment so um, I got two of these LED um, mini task lights they're called as you guys can see they were $7.99 um, there's ten lights total, five on each. They stick on. Uh, just click them, turn them on. And as you guys can see, they are very bright. Um, 
I've got the lights on in this room right now, so you probably won't be able to notice this very well, but uh, even just laying on top of the tank like this, it lights up this section very well. So uh, we'll have to see where that goes, if I need to change it or add more. That 8 bucks is really not that important. Uh, sorry, i got to rush through this a little bit. Uh, battery's almost dead. Um, right here i got a Marineland Mini Jet 606. Um, it's rated for, or it's uh, interchangeable. It can go up to 106 gallons per, or 160 gallons per hour, down, all the way down to um, 84. Uh, it also has this, have this uh, Tetramin H, uh, HT10 uh, 50 watt submersible heater. It's only rated for two to ten gallons, but uh. If this thing's uh, consistently running, which it will be, and it's automatically set at 78 degrees, it'll probably keep this more consistent, and if I need to return it or replace it, that'll be fine. I was going to buy the one that's freighted from 10 to 30 gallons, but uh, this is a pretty well heated aquarium as it is. So I took the pump out while, with the other hand, uh, so um, it's interchangeable on the power, you just turn this, this is at the lowest and to go up th two more times. Um, I put the suction cup piece on. Um, it was kind of a pain. The suction cups didn't seem like they wanted to fit into the holder, so, uh, you know, just had to make it work. It ended up getting on, but it took a little longer than hoped. Um, so I've got six feet of half-inch tubing that fits right up with this pump and should go and should be enough to go all the way up the tank uh, it fits I don't feel like working it right now uh, and then here is this kind of massive three-quarter inch tubing uh, when you look at it for it being only a quarter inch in theory bigger it looks so much bigger but uh, it's really not and I've got, uh, I think this actually was an AquaClear filter part, um, but it fits into this very well, and it allows me to control the level of where it's sucking the water, the siphon begins, so once it starts sucking air here, the water level drops below that, um, the seal, the, the siphon will break, and, uh, the two will mostly drain and there should still be plenty of space in here. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, also, there's another fail-safe implemented. Uh, this is a PVC control valve made in America, too. So that's got to be a good product. Uh, can withstand up to 150 PSI. Uh, be fully closed, which obviously is not going to need to be. I'm figuring it'll probably be at about right there, but I haven't checked it yet. Uh, but anyways, that really doesn't matter because I could sync up both of them. This has got three settings, which is also a nice feature. But uh, this and just kind of goes in through here, and it'll fill. Hope I'm gonna try to keep it as low as possible so no air is mixed in as well. But uh. That's about it. Um, I'm going to have a 4 to 5 inch sand bed in here. So there's not going to be much space for water. So I'm just going to have a, probably like a mat of Chato. And that should help with the, with the phosphates and stuff like that. And nitrates, nitrites. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And this is Siglamania97 out. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to ask them. Uh, and, uh... Thank you for watching, and this is Sickle Mania 97 out.